Recep Tayyip Erdogan considers himself a champion of the Palestinian cause. On Wednesday, the Turkish president chaired an emergency gathering of the world's main pan-Islamic body in light of Donald Trump's decision last week to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. In an earlier address, Erdogan refused to strike a conciliatory tone. I am inviting all countries who value international law and fairness to recognize occupied Jerusalem as the capital of Palestine. Throughout the morning, leaders from every corner of the Muslim world trickled into Istanbul, one by one condemning Trump's contentious decision. For his part, Mahmoud Abbas said his people will not accept any role for the United States in the Middle East peace process from now on, a call echoed by all participants. The individual steps taken by President Trump will not legitimize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel because it's an Arab, Palestinian, Islamic, Christian city. The eternal capital of Palestine. Several key players at the summit, however, including Saudi Arabia, Egypt and the UAE, are unlikely to want to risk their key relationship with Washington for this cause. That said, King Salman bin Abdulaziz sent his country's message from Riyadh. The kingdom incessantly calls for political solutions to the crises and problems in the region, and first and foremost to the Palestinian issue. With the restoration of the Palestinian people's legitimate rights, this includes the right to proclaim an independent state, of which East Jerusalem is the capital. In a final declaration, the 57-member bloc urged recognition of East Jerusalem as Palestine's capital.